Okay, so hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this new video. So it's the last month of the year, so let's dive into something really awesome. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys like this race conditioning. It's, uh, it's a lab on port trigger, but I think this is really good in bug bounty because I think you can find some really good bugs if you understand this process and how you can look for these bugs. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you guys like right now, the first lab on, on port trigger to give you guys a little bit of hands on experience about what I'm talking about. But I will cover all those labs uh, in other videos. So you can also watch these or try the, uh, just try it by yourself. Okay, so enough about that. And also maybe a big thing is it's advanced cyber challenge of uh, Try Hack Me. If you wanna start into cybersecurity, I think it's a really great place because it's free, it's 30 days of hacking, you can even win some awards. So just give it a try and, and get your hands on on the keyboard and, and experiment and just trial and error, just do these things. Okay, so let's dive right into this lab right now. So for this lab, you go to the academy, you make sure you have burp on, and we go to all labs, and we're gonna search for the race conditioning. Okay, race, race condition. Okay, we're gonna select this first lab, like I said, and we're gonna access the lab. Okay, amazing. So in this lab, what we will do is we will try to buy an item and we don't have enough money. So there is an action on the website. So you can like have 20 or 30% discount, like it's 20% discount if you use this promo code. So we're going to log in as always as Wiener Peter. Okay, we're not going to save this. And you will see we have like $50 on our account. But if we go to the shop, so we go to the homepage, we need to buy this leather jacket. But like you see, even with the discount, <laughs> we're not gonna pay this. It's really too expensive for us. So we're gonna add this one to the cart. We go into our cart and here you will see we can add this coupon. First thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we capture everything we do from now on with our burp. Like again, if this was like uh, a bug bounty, you, uh, the capturing all uh, was already started because you wanna capture all the traffic. But if you're doing these labs, you know what you have to do because it's in the description. Like, yeah, you need to buy this leather jacket. Okay, so you know, we need, we need to try to buy it and there's not, nothing else to do. Okay, next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this promo code. So it's promo 20, uh, we're gonna apply this one it, like you see, we have like a 20% discount. It's a really nice discount, but it's not enough for us because we only have $50 to pay. So we're gonna remove the discount again. Uh, we're gonna turn this one off for a sec and we go into our Burp Suite Pro. We go into our proxy. And the first thing we did, of course, was add the coupon. We're gonna send this one to the repeater. Okay. First thing what you wanna check out is like, is there something special? Uh, what you also can do, what uh, what you see, what I also tried, uh, but as a race condition, so for that it will, will not work. You can try other discounts. Uh, I, I did somewhere find someone signing 30, but it didn't work. Okay, but next off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this one to the repeater and we're gonna multiply this step. You can do this by, I think, control R. Yes, and we're gonna make like 19 tabs of this. Okay, I was pressing way too fast. Okay, let's make 19 taps of this. Okay, just to, to send some. And now what we can do is, it's really nice and broke. We can, uh, we can add this one to a group, add tap to group. Okay, it will not work, give me a sec. Create tap group, uh, we're just gonna call this one group one. We're gonna select all 19. I'm gonna give them the color red because I like the color red. I'm gonna create this. Like you see now, we can do other things. We can send this one in a single connection. We can send this one. We can do a lot of things with this. Okay, sorry, I was reading, uh, but it's okay. So what we want to do right now is we want to try to, to, to have like this. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Uh, we go back to Portrayer for a second. If you go to the research, 
This is a really nice article. You guys really need to read. But if you scroll a little bit down, it's all about race conditionings. Uh, you will see this part. So this is the race window what we need. We need to make sure that our request gets delivered at the same time. So the database cannot process the, the first request. So you need to see it's like this, like if coupon, if in the database is a table uh, with a column from uh, has coupon activator or something like that of coupon is used equals false, it's gonna set us to true. But if the requests are coming exactly at the same time, it's not having the time to change uh, to change the column in the database. So that's really important to know. So again, right here, what we're gonna do is we're going back to Burp Suite. We're gonna send this request with this promo 20 and we're gonna send this one, uh, send group and sequels in a single connection. We can do this in separate connections or we can do this in a pair. So if you wanna send this like in separate connections, we can create all different uh, connections for this group. And we're gonna, we're gonna use this one first and see what the result's gonna be. Okay, like we see I have a coupon applied and here you see coupon is already used. Okay, so what has this done is if we refresh this page, you will see like, okay, it's only have added one coupon. So what we did now is we sent this coupon, but we sent it in different connections. Okay, we're gonna remove this one back. We're going back to Burp Suite and we want to send this one in a single packet. So you can play around with these three to find what works. But I'm going to tell you, if you send this in a single packet, the packet will arrive and they have the same, uh, it will have the same what we have here. It will have the same internal legacy, uh, latency, the same jitter and the same network latency. So your packets will arrive nine out of ten at the same time and that's why you also send more than one or two package just make a lot of requests send a lot of things so you always have some winners okay back to here we're gonna send this again and what you will see is we have request for say coupon apply so all the requests before all 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 of them well say coupon apply if you go to request 14 it says coupon already applied it can go to 12 okay why is here coupon already applied because right here probably the database will have made the changes because there will be like or or overwhelmed of things like that so that is happening here so after this you oh you can even see like only this one did not arrive so maybe this this is a failure here like i said if you go back this one maybe is is is, is a little bit later and that's why the database noticed it. So every other request has exactly the same uh, time to arrival, but the other one was maybe a little bit later because something went wrong, they had some more internal latency or things like that. That's why you always send more than one request or more than two, three, four. I also I'll, I'll always go with what, like 15, 19, 20, it depends. So if we now refresh this, you will see we can buy this jacket for $24 and we have $50. So we have a big discount of, yeah, well, a really big discount. So we're gonna place the order and what you will see, you're like, you're like this lab is solved. Like this is a base, basic, get your feet wet, your hands on exercise for this uh, race condition, but you can already see this one in the wild. What I will try to do maybe is I will maybe if I can find some in the wild uh, on real applications and I can get a disclosure and I can have the access uh, or the or I can have the rights to show this. If I, if I maybe can ask, I will show you guys some some real uh, some real race conditionings in the real in, in, in the real world. But I need to see if, if the company if I find it is OK with that and things like that. So, but this was, I really want to show you, show you through this guys. This was a, a really fun vulnerability. You can, you can start hunting for. If you complete all these labs and you succeeded, you have a really strong uh, knowing of, of, of this vulnerability. Okay, so thank you again for watching to my video. I see you guys in the next one.